let's learn about how to map nested objects i have employee object which has id first name last name and employee id and office object will have the office id name address country and zip code now this office object will be one of the properties of employee object let's create as office db object as office and let's create setters getters and two string method getters and getters and update the two string method and reformat it now let's create a mapper method public person tt1 to person and is employee object as employee How are we going to map the nested object to a person D2 object? Let's take mappings because we have the multiple mappings. Let's create a mapping. Source and the target. Target would be office name. And here how am I going to do? One way is using employee dot office dot name. And let's save it and observe the generated map. So if we see it, the office name has been mapped along with first name and last name because the employee first name and last name have the same field name and the data types that's why it has been created for it which is a basic case and for the set name set office name for that one it has created another private method which has a couple of the checks and it is taking the office name and it is returning and it, which has been set to office name property of person dto let's finish off our rest of the properties as well Let me create it for this address, which will be address property and country, which will be country and the zip code. Now Let's map employee ID source employee dot EMP ID and the target would be employee ID. Now let's save the file and observe the implementation. The implementation is employee ID is a straight forward and office name address country and office zip code all has created a new private methods and it's in the same way that it is going to check couple of the null checks after that it's returning the value and which will be set at office at at the same way country and zip code as well now if you observed earlier we have not used employee dot so directly we were using without having the reference of the employee because it's a it's also a valid case if you see it the generated code will not change it's exactly the same way so do i need to pass here the employee it's not required because we have the single source if it's a single source we don't need to use the exact name because only one object so it will be used let's delete for the office name and office address but let's keep it for country and zip code just for our reference purposes now let's observe it there won't be any change it's exactly the same as earlier office address and the name exactly the same as earlier so in case of the single source we don't need to call out the name of the source or variable name in case of the multiple sources it must be called out otherwise it doesn't know which one it has to map 
So let's write a test case for this one. Here, let's this is copy paste error. I have created two objects. One is employee object, another one is office object. So employee object has the ID, employee ID, first name and last name. And whereas office object has ID, name, address, along with that zip code. So let's set the employee set office as office. Right? So now the data is ready. Let's create person detail object. Person detail, detail is equal to none. And let's write the all the assertions. Now I have written all the assertions, which is uh, DTO should not be null and uh, DTO's first name should be equals to the employee first name, last name equals to last name, employee ID equals to ID of the employee. Along with that, office name, address and country should match. Let's create the employee map. Map is equals to first part and class. Okay. Member not. Now let's create the two object from the member mapper dot two person by passing the employee object. Now let's run the test case. Run as Jane's test case and it's a success. That means all the next mapping is properly set and test case has been passed.